What's going on guys? Hey Paul is back for the next part of this tutorial and in this one I'm going to hopefully make this kind of a quicker part of the series but what I actually want to do is address the notion of the fact that we don't have any ability to like uh, aim the character around. So like if I look up and down he doesn't care about that. Now left and right are actually handled for us. Okay, I, I know he doesn't play an animation or anything of turning in place but he doesn't keep at least keep aiming there but what he doesn't do is aim up and down. So what we're going to do is we're going to cheat it and we're going to use some simple code to hopefully um, get this working. So we need to actually do this in his uh, animation blueprint, which is right here. So what we want to have happen is we need to do a bone control. Um, and we can do it on basically Bind one or two or maybe three or maybe a division cross product of all three but we'll, we'll see what we get so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna type transform bone somewhere bone transform bone transform modify bone okay so we come here and we say bone to modify and we're gonna do spine one which is gonna be on this list so up here Okay, and we just want to hook this up right now, and you'll notice that this is blue, okay, it's component space, and this is actually just the pose. When we hook this up, it's going to convert it for us, which is nice and handy, and it'll convert it for us on the end as well. So what we want to do is we want to control that spine's rotation. So let's go ahead and promote that to a variable, and we're going to call this um, aim rotation, okay? and we'll compile that and now as we drag that up and down we should so not do, oh, oh I haven't done it yet I haven't done it yet sorry okay um, there's there's two things in here that we don't need translation and scale so we can actually turn those pins off okay and we actually don't need the alpha either because we're gonna blend that in automatically well we could have that because there may be definitely maybe times when you want this off um, but what we need to do is we need to tell rotation to actually add. Okay. Compile that. And now as we pitch him, well, pitch is the wrong way. Yaw is left and right. So it looks like his roll. This is a product of the way they set up the skeleton. Okay. The fact that we're using this. So we can get him to look up. We can get him to look down based on on a variable but what variable do we use we actually have a very handy one I think we can get it from here get control rotation okay and then what we want to do uh, let me see how's my organization here I think what I want to do is cut right here a sequence okay so I get his control rotation which is actually where your mouse is okay like the way that the, the controller actually stores that whenever you move your mouse around it knows and it's stored in this variable here called get control rotation so we're gonna break this now the thing is is I think pitch is what we need to receive and then we need to make rot here um, I believe we want pitch Okay, every yaw and roll will stay the same, and then we will just set aim rotation on that, and we'll pull that after here. So let's give that a try. So <laughs> pretty damn close. Let's um, let's try hooking up just the roll then. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Aim rotation, yeah, just just because we need roll to be adjusted. So pitch goes to roll. That's what it is. Okay, there we go. I think. Okay, it's backwards. He looks up when I look down. That's easy to fix. We just multiply that by negative one. Float by float. Negative one. Badoosh. Compile. Look up. Look down. Look up. Look down. Okay, 
so maybe we can clean it up just a little bit. Let's take a look. He's got one, two, three bones. Okay, so what we're going to do is, before we invert it, we are going to divide. Uh, float divided by float. You'll notice that I didn't put like a slash. Um, I mean, it's, it's the same thing, but you know, there's there's multiple ways to say divide. In fact, I think you can just put the divide symbol. We're going to divide it by three. Okay, and because we're going to share it between three bones. So when we go back to the anim graph, what we're going to want is bone and bone. Okay, and we can hook these up. We won't need a conversion because they are all in their own component space. And we're just going to swap the bones. So spine 2, spine 3. Um, oops. Spine 3. So spine 1, spine 2, and spine 3 are all going to transform based on this rotation. So it should share it. So now as we do the roll, you see how he kind of... It's more natural now, right? More natural. So let's try that and see how that feels. I done did screwed up something. Additive component, additive component, additive component. Spine three. We may not want spine three. Let's skip spine three. Let's just split it between spine 1 and 2. I think spine 3 might be screwing it up, but maybe not. We'll see. Uh, event graph, we'll divide by 2 now. So we want to split it between the two. And we'll try that. Mm -hmm. If it goes below 0, I think. Let's print that rotation and see what we get. There's always something, right? Always something. It's a product of me never trying these things before I show you guys how I'm doing it. Okay, so the roll here is... Oh, it's going to 180. If it goes below zero, it doesn't go negative. Wait, it goes negative. So negative 30. I'm looking at the very top number, the roll there. So if I look up, it's negative 45. If I come down, it's once it goes past the zero, it goes to 180. And then negative 180? So zero would make it so we got no addition, right? Because remember, we're doing additive, so whatever this value is gets added to it. So we're subtracting 0.3 from it right now. We are now, well, actually we're adding because it's negative and we're inverting it. So we're actually adding 20 because it's negative 19.026432, right? So we're, we're adding that. But this is our problem. Boom. It swaps to 180 below there. And this sucks. It's funny, but it sucks. <laughs> So, how are we going to compensate for that? And that really threw a wrench. I was going I was already ready to end this part. Get control rotation. So, it sucks because it's negative one direction, but it's Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just print the pitch. Okay, zero. Okay, we're going positive. As we go below zero, we go to 360 instead of negative. So, I... If 360 and zero should be the same thing. So if I add 360, it should barely be moving right now. So why am I getting this crazy crushing? Spine 1 is the one that's doing it, and spine spine 1 and 2 are doing it? Spine 3 is okay? I don't know where spine 3 starts. Spine 1... Fucking fast camera. It's way up there. 
Yeah, so it's doing spine one and two. So spine three. Guess I can't. I can't rotate it here. Thought I could. Thought I was allowed to do that. Mess with that. Hmm. How the hell am I going to handle that? How do we I'm say so if it's. Because I think what we need to do is we need to say if we're greater than 180, let's subtract from 360. So, subtract. Again, this is a product of their skeleton being weird. Um, so, we want to subtract this from 360, I think. Not entirely sure. Then, that. I think we can do a switch on Boolean. No, we can't do that here? Really can't do switch on bull here. You used to be able to switch on bull, didn't you? I know we can select. Okay, okay, that should work. So before we divide by 2, if it's greater than 180, we need to do subtract it from 360. If not, we need to use that. That's not going to be right. I know I didn't get this right. So that was at 24 which would have failed, which would have just used the pitch. Oh shit, shit, shit. I plugged that in the wrong one. It's gotta go, what are you? Weird, that, I did the wrong one. Still need to divide by two, okay. Okay, he's going back up when he gets there. Okay. So, what we're going to do is the, the inversion needs to be replaced somewhere. Because like I said, this is not, wouldn't, this didn't happen with my character and it probably won't happen to yours. This guy's role is his pitch. He's character's not even facing X, you can see he's facing Y, all the bones are in weird ass places, it's very sloppy, or, or very, very, very specific to what they needed to do, I don't, I don't, I can't explain it, but we need to not do this if we're over, so we can actually invert it before, at this point here, so one of these has got to be inverted and the other one doesn't, I'll just kind of I'll try this one first. If that doesn't work, I'll swap it to the other one. Okay, that's backwards. That's backwards. Okay. So I believe we want... Uh, that. Like that. Maybe not. Down. Up. Yay! I freaking figured it out. 
Much better, right? Much better. Okay, so we did have to take into account that they've got some very odd stuff going on in their skeleton. I'm actually pointing at the screen. But there's some odd stuff in their skeleton. It's really strange. It's retargeted. It's all over the place. It's two different characters combined into one, retargeted, with some weird skeleton that was created in 1976. I don't know what's wrong with it, but there's something weird about it. I don't need any of that anymore. But we did solve it. Because, like I said, what we needed to do was we, you know, we can still use the control rotation. We just had to figure out um, what was going on. And as you saw, as we go below zero, we end up flipping to 180. So if we, if we, or if we go above one, above 180, it flips to 360. So any times it it hits that, we need to say if it's um, if it's now 360. We need to take 360 and minus that, which will give us zero, so we get no change. If it's if we're now at 350, we'll get 10. So now we're only adjusting by 10. But if it's the other way, if we're looking up or down or whatever the hell, I'm confused, right? Hopefully I've confused you too, because I'm just as confused. Um, and that's and you'll notice, you see what I did. I was just like, okay, well if it ain't this one, it's going to be the opposite, right? Uh, and and that's what we did. And we did know that we didn't want to invert it uh, based on this float here. So we select a float based on whether or not it's 180. We do a little bit of swapping around between the two options. We still need to divide by 2 no matter what. We still need to make a rotation no matter what. And we still need to set that no matter what. And all this we need to read no matter what. And that's it. So I'm sorry that it took a little bit extra time, but it uh, hopefully shows you guys how to uh, attack some of these weird-ass problems. Uh, because it does work now. And it's, it's relatively blended pretty good, I think. And we're, we didn't have to deal with any weird-ass off, uh, aim offset stuff, which I think would have been just as freaking confusing. I like to do it this way, anyway. Uh, now, if you want to do left and right, it's a little bit harder. And the reason is, is because you actually have to take into account that you can only look so far to the right before the character actually needs to turn. It gets really tough. Um, which is why I actually prefer just to spin the character on in place. I see that in a trillion games nobody ever cares nobody ever gets upset um, and I think it's overhead and confusion and work on top of you know no real necessity of course if you're going for a simulation and it's important to you that things look correct in all cases you know for the, like a game like Ma um what the hell is that game I wanted to say Mad Max 3 Max Payne 3 where the whole like half of the selling point of that game was how realistic the animations are you can't do something like this because there ain't nothing even remotely realistic about this, about my character spinning around, you know, like he's like he's magic. So in this case, you would want to have a uh, at least a turn in place animation. And but we got you know the aim up and down, and it should be relatively accurate, and it'll still work during run and everything else too. In fact, it should work during jump. It does. Okay, you can see there, like a so. So, that should handle how we're going to aim up and down, and it would be nice. And uh, the cool thing, too, is if, if we tell the like a bot to aim at something, like to change his control rotation to point at something, uh, he will receive the benefits of all of this, too, because it's in an animation blueprint. So, this is Hitboss signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.